best real estate CRM softwares for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you some of the best CRM softwares that you can use for real estate. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, first, I'm going to show you the platforms individually, show you all how they look like, their, all their features, all their options, where they're located. And then I'm going to take you over to another website. We will compare all of them together. So let's get started. First up, we have LionDesk over here. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. This is the dashboard of LionDesk. It's free to use. You can go ahead and sign up. It's not free to use. Sorry about that it's they do provide a free trial right so as you can see 30 day free trial so you can easily go ahead and use them for 30 day and see if you like them and then if you do then you can go ahead and continue so your subscription but if you don't you can end it anytime you want right so this is how the platform looks like so over here you have your home you have your contacts over here where you will add all of a bunch of different contacts as you can see over here you can import export create new contacts however you like it then you have your communications over here where you will see all of your mails you will send mails receive mails and all of that you can choose a template and as well and then you have your tasks where you will see all of your to-do lists as well it's going to be over here you can create you know all of your tasks and all of that then you will have your campaigns so over here this is where things get interesting over here you will have your leads you will have all of your leads you know assign different people to those leads and you know continue them then of course you have your videos and then you have your marketing over here so over here you can go ahead and use facebook over here facebook custom audience you can sync it with line desk ad portal over here you have direct mail landing pages you have your documents down below and then you have your transactions and then you have your reporting and they also provide a referral program as well so if you wanted to like refer this to your friends or family members who want to use a crm software then they can use this from this referral link so this is how the overall platform looks like this was the overview of the platform now we're going to move on to the second one which is called pipe drive now many of you might know pipe drive because it's one of the most popular ones out there and it's very simple to use as well right so over here you will have your leads at the top the first one you will have your lead inbox then you have your live chat you have your chat box web form inspector web visitors all of that you will have your messages over here you will have all of your leads you can create new leads generate new leads you know you can have like a lead booster and then you have your deals down below where you will see all of the deals you have your leads in over here contact made uh, property evaluated property listed showing schedule proposal made and under contract and you can see which lead is where where it is going what's the status of the lead over there and then down below you have your campaigns where you can see all of your leads and your email marketing campaigns and all of that so as you can see you can send email marketing campaigns that get you clicks you can get people to you know sign up over here then you will have your mail over here you will receive all of your you know email addresses over here and you can send mail as well then you have your activities basically like you know to-do list over here you will have calls meetings tasks you know emails lunch all of your to-do list and overdues are going to be over here and then you have your contacts where you will see all of the contacts that you can add over here basically like your different leads like different agents you can add them over here organizations ceos whatever you want to do then you will also have an insight so and then you also have your insights i don't think lion desk had an insight they did have an overview or a report section but i don't think it was an insights so over here basically this is how it's going to look like this is going to be your dashboard for your insights all of your reports current reports your leads leads ones deals generated all of the reports are going to be over here as you can see and then you have your products that you are trying to sell over here you can go ahead and add different products as well and then you have your marketplace as well so i don't think line desk had a marketplace but they did have a couple of them but you know you can go ahead and connect different applications together so like google meets or zoom meeting or you know dealbot for slack hubspot monday.com all of that right and then you have a bunch of different mores over here more options like workflow automation proposed time all of that as you can see so this was like the overview of pipe drive let's move on to the third one which is called hubspot so many of you know what hubspot is and how it's used it's one of the also most popular crm systems out there like pipe drive and it's very simple to use as well so this is the dashboard right here you will have a bunch of different options over here i would say uh you know 
pipe drive was much easier to understand than HubSpot or LineDesk, but as you can see, it's also pretty simple. You have your main options at the top. You have your contacts, conversions, meetings, sales, services, automation reports, and then this is your dashboard over here. You will see your chat overview, email overview, marketing, marketing channels, sales, sales manager, sales opportunity, reps, service teams, website visitors, website analysts over here, all of that. And then you have your CMS over here, website analytics and and then you have your marketing over here and then down below you will have your sales options you will have your sales managers your opportunities reviews sales reps and services right so this is your dashboard as i said before all of the main options are going to be at the top so you have contacts and in contacts you have companies calls and all of that conversions you will have chat flow snippets templates and inboxes marketplace is going to have ads emails landing page socials seos sales is going to have all the things related to sales such as deals forecast tasks service is going to have tickets and all of that and automation is going to have sequences and workflow and then you have your report section as well so this was the overview for hubspot and then finally we have agile crm so it's loading up right here so this one is also pretty amazing it has a more you know different ui than any of the others i would say it one has the one of the best uis out of all i don't know why but it, i just kind of like this color and this ui and the layout of this website as well so over here this is the dashboard and currently we're in the sales and this is the dashboard right here manage dashboard and this is the home page as well then you have your search button your calendar your tasks at the top and then on the left side you have your contacts you have your companies you have your deals you have your documents then inboxes online calendar activities you have your reports and automations and then you have your trash icon as well so where you can delete and or recover deleted tasks or opportunities or whatever so these were the overview of these four websites right now let's go ahead and move over to the comparison of it so for now i'm coming over here onto this application where they basically you know compare all three of these apps so they basically give you an overview some pricing some user reviews key features integrations and alternatives as well if you're looking for that so this is the overview right so these are the categories all right these are the leaders so this is the pipe drive over here then we have line desk and then hubspot and then agile so in pipe drive you will see that the platform supports by web based iphones and android apps almost all of the applications almost all of these four crms are support these three unfortunately windows phone don't exist but i'm pretty sure that if they did most of these would support that as well then they have the typical customer right so they support freelancers small businesses mid-sized businesses and large enterprises as well all four of them so it's just pretty cool and then you have your customer support so pipe drive has phone online knowledge base and video tutorials they'll give you all of that whereas line desk only gives you phone online and video tutorials they don't give you knowledge based you know customer support for hubspot also has all four of them and agile as well then they give you some screenshots and videos where you can see people using and reviewing it but we're just going to continue on and then we have the pricing plan over here and then we have the pricing plan so over here you can see that pipe drive starts from 14 dollars per user per month and line desk starts for 30 dollars per month they don't have per user thing but pipe drive does have free trial available and they don't require a credit card there are no free accounts but it is subscription based whereas lion desk they give you a free trial it does start at 30 dollars per month no per user limit it does offer you a 30 day free trial but the credit card is required and a free account is not available and it is on subscription based hubspot on the other hand is 50 dollars per user per month it does give you a free trial no credit card is required it gives you a free account and it is also a subscription based and agile crm starts at 899 dollars per month there is a free trial and credit card is required and they do offer your free account and it is also subscription based so you can view other pricing plans as well but this is the starting plan so you should probably get a an idea of what the other plans are going to offer you and then you have your user review so pipe drive is reviewed at 4.5 stars of with 2.3k reviews and line desk is reviewed at 4.1 stars with a 91 review rate and hubspot is at 4.5 with a review of 3.2k reviews so it's pretty amazing so as you can see only 15 one-star reviews 36 two-star reviews 
174 three-star reviews and the other thousand and two thousand are all four stars and five stars so it's i think it's pretty amazing and agile as well only 431 reviews but it is at 4.1 so in my opinion hubspot and pipe drive have the most reviews but if we're comparing both hubspot and you know pipe drive then we look at the one stars only 16 people gave one stars to pipe drive 26 gave them two stars and 106 gave them three but the rest gave them four or five so a lot of most people gave them you know five stars over here but it's still pretty amazing and then down below we give the overall percentage so 97 would recommend this app for pipe drive 77 would recommend lion desk 97 would recommend hubspot and 48 would recommend agile lion desk didn't even reach 100 so i think we shouldn't count the these two but you know hubspot and pipe drive they have a pretty amazing you know review base and people do recommend them and some of the pros are over here so pro number one for pipe drive is the overall pipe drive has been an awesome tool it helps stay focused on the most important stuff so this was a anonymous reviewer and another one says the quote management function is the best part of this reminding you for outstanding quotes and previous approved deals pipe drive is now one of the most referred sales management tool of our portfolio company and it is perfect not to mention the beauty of its interface now i'm not going to read all the reviews but generally you do get the idea um, people do like them right and some people don't but i do like pipe drive and hubspot they have one of the best ones out there they have more reviews and then down below we have the key feature so this is now we're getting started so the total features for pipe drive is 154 line desk has only 48 a hubspot has 96 and agile crm surprisingly has 233 so it's pretty amazing so these are the total features right but the key features are these ones over here that they all should have in common so pipe drive has api it has access control says permissions active dashboard activity management activity tracking alert slash notifications appointment management appointment scheduling autoresponder and crm whereas line desk only has the api activity dashboard alerts and notifications and crm it doesn't even have activity management and activity tracking and the total features over here as you can see hubspot has 96 it also has all of them except for auto responders and agile even though it has a lot of other features but the key features and only does not have two ones such as access control and permissions and activity management other than that it has everything so which i think is pretty amazing and then we have the integration list so 530 integrations for pipe drive 19 for line desk 1014 for hubspot and 103 for agile so again it's pretty amazing we have you will get more you know integrations for hubspot and these are like the top and one of the most important ones over here that everyone most of these should have so as you can see pipe drive has constant contract gmail it doesn't have Google Analytics 360, but it does have Google Calendar, HubSpot CRM, MailChimp, and it doesn't have Meta for Business, but it does have Microsoft 365 and Outlook, but it doesn't support PayPal. So surprisingly, none of these CRMs support PayPal. And if we look at LionDesk, LionDesk only has Google Calendar and Meta for Business. Whereas for HubSpot, it only doesn't have the Google Analytics and HubSpot CRM because this is hubspot crm and it doesn't get integrated with hubspot crm but i think it makes sense because why would you need to uh, integrate one software with another that was stupid sorry about that but we shouldn't count that because it is hubspot so we shouldn't count this so we'll just say it only doesn't have one of the integrations which is google analytics and for agile it only has mailchimp and meta for business so as you can see then down below we have some alternatives that you can use so and if we look at the alternatives, we have one, two, three for pipe drive, one, two, three, four for engage bay, and we don't have any HubSpot. And for Agile CRM, we have one, two, three. So keep that in mind. But anyway, this is how it looks like. Let me know in the comment sections, guys, what do you think? Which one is better? Uh, this is a pretty detailed overview, I would say. We have reviews we have pricings we have key features we have all the integrations and the overview as well so 
that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye